Santiago. Deathblade. Sidewinder. Hot damn! Watch time is over. Boom, did it! <laughs> Had it both ways. No regrets. I guess your little investigations hit a dead end. Brooklyn, Brooklyn! What's up, everyone? It's Adam from FWCI. Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Season 3, Episode 3. This one is called Boyle's Hunch. Uh, I, I shudder to think at what Boyle's Hunch could potentially be. Boyle's train of thought uh, leaves me with a lot of questions, quite a lot, so ugh, I'm a little bit tentative going into this episode to be completely honest. <laughs> Things could get dark real quick. But we've got Santiago and Peralta together, we've got uh, the Vulture is still in power but he's gonna ease off of the guys so it looks like we're still gonna have the Vulture for a while. Holt is starting to find a little bit of, um, I don't know, a sense of purpose I guess. And Terry was pretty distraught over mango yogurt in the last episode. I gotta say, as you know, Terry loves yogurt and uh, it was heartbreaking to see him so crushed. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. In fact, if you do subscribe, you will get things like the reaction video that I'm gonna put a little clip of at the end of this video. Uh, it has Andy Samberg in it. It's a Saturday Night Live sketch called Young Chuck Norris. It could have given me the most heartiest laugh I've ever had on this channel. Even more than when Holt said, my wife was murdered by a man in a yellow sweater. Um, it, this was such an entertaining video, so I'll put a short clip of that at the end. Give that a check out, and then subscribe. But let's check out Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Episode 3, Season 3, Boyle's Hunch. 200,000 cash and my new partner, a tarantula. Ooh. I call him Jake Jr., AKA Spidey Klum, AKA Mrs. Doubt Spider, AKA Joe Spiden, AKA Tarantula Bassett, AKA Spider Dermot Mulroney. AKA Tarantulina <laughs> Jolie. What? No, Charles. Tarantulina Jolie. That was name. good. Sorry. Why do you have that? That was because Peralta, give the man his credit. He's gone. I left the cage unlocked and he's gone. Oh, somebody find him. Tarantulas are harmless. Plus I'm Australian, so, you know, I would just, Get that spider and fuck the shit out of it. <laughs> I think I found it. Why are you looking at me like that? Terry. It's on my head! <laughs> you know what? Spiders are not too bad. I, I had a spider once that lived like up on like above this doorway. Like, I had a, a very private balcony, there was no way to get into it, there was a tree there, so I used to leave the door open, and then like, yeah, this fucking spider, he lived in my house for about three weeks, I would say. He just chilled up oh, there by himself, he's a big boy, he's like, that's big, big old tree spider. I've been online dating, it's a total disaster. Oh. I only had one match, and it was a pretty obvious catfish situation. My name Jennifer. You gave me social security. Oh, <laughs> Jennifer. Now, I see that as a positive story. Out of all the identities he could have stolen, he chose yours. And you want to know why? Because I posted my annual income. Because you posted your annual income, you mm -hmm. moron. Excuse me, is that Takiyaki? Yeah, from Senka. Oh my god. Oh, I love that place. This Somebody get some salt. Was home for my dog. It's the snail. Lucky. My dog's too many. She eats octopus balls and she sleeps on the floor. She's the perfect woman. Oh god. Wait. Sorry. I was aiming at somebody else, but now that I have your attention, Charles. <laughs> Who were you aiming at, Peralta? <laughs> I was hoping you'd ask. My work here is done. Oh, still fish. Oh, God. Uh, Santiago, thank you for coming in. It's no secret the NYPD hey. has an image problem. Yeah. When I told my garbage man I was a cop, he said, gross. <laughs> he had someone else's <laughs> band-aid stuck to him. <laughs> Put up posters that showcase some of our best. I'd like you to be on the first one. Shut up, Ray. I mean... Ooh. Ooh. Interesting, Captain. <laughs> Shut up, Ray. This is interesting. First off, Amy has an epic lack of swagger. Uh, Ooh, you know yeah, that is a good point. Ooze. Swagger. Right. More important. <laughs> I will not pose for your posters. I didn't ask you, and you're not a police officer. <laughs> yeah. I'm out. Okay, Jaina. Bye. <laughs> Permission to arrest Hitchcock and Scully. I've told you before, it's not harassment unless you can prove intent to fart. No, <laughs> they ate my Moose Tracks ice cream. <laughs> That's funny. 
I wouldn't think you like Moose Tracks. My boyfriend Marcus introduced me to it. What? It is a delicious treat for all ages. Damn, Rosa. Okay. <laughs> Rosa, 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 Rosa. But Hitchcock has fudge stains all over his chest. He's always got fudge stains all over his chest. I was gonna chest. say that too. Step one, put a delicious pie in the fridge and cover it with poison. That's step one. Step two. <laughs> Tell their widows they were thieves. <laughs> going straight from here to the spa, couples massage. Okay, seems a little intense, but given how your other weirdness lined up, I say go for it. <laughs> oh, she comes. Oh, okay, how do I look? You look great. Oh, is she gonna be like the one on trial? Charles, look down. I think tonight we. Oh, shoot. They just gave me 10 years in prison. Oh, that sucks. Damn, Boyle. So what, you're not upset about falling hard for a lady who was immediately thrown in jail? No, because she's not actually guilty. They say she robbed her own art gallery for the insurance oh, money. No. But that makes no sense. She would have made more if the art had sold. This piece, Breastfeeding Night, was worth twice what she got from the insurance company. Look, I, I know you think my judgment's clouded because I like her a little bit. You doodled your wedding invitation. No, that's our joint tombstone. My mistake. But as a cop, Whoa. I really don't think that she did it. Boyle, come on, man. You can't... Well, You've known her for like five minutes. Let's go free. But I do believe him. I do actually believe that he you is. And me, get my lady off together. He's that he suspects that you she didn't do it. it sounds, right? Look strong, but fair, but approachable, but professional, and fun, but not too fun. This is your job. Can you handle all that, sir? <laughs> Because this campaign, like three out of five Backstreet Boys, is inconsequential. That's enough, Gina. All I'm saying as a, if not the <laughs> voice of the streets, is this just doesn't Check out my Bruce Drew Backstreet Boys reaction video. Fuck, that was funny. Look what I found in Hitchcock and Scully's trash can. Ice cream spoon. Son of a bitch. Oh, Hitchcock, you Scully. You hungry, hungry hippos ate my ice cream. <laughs> Why is this trash? And who throws away a spoon? You know, I'm on lots of medicines, Rosa. Bullshit. Sarge, no, it's been in their mouths. What am I doing? Well, I guess your little investigations hit a dead end. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. Oh. Oh, man, I like when Hitchcock and Scully are at war with someone. They are fucking, they're great at it. Oh, shit. Guess your little investigations hit a dead end. <laughs> <laughs> Dirtbag X. Oh, that was my theory, remember? Tell her it was my theory. Okay, wait, give me a second. I want to look smart when you say it. Okay. Uh, hey, Genevieve. <laughs> <laughs> Boyle wants to let you know that she, a college graduate, had a similar theory that it could have been. <laughs> Boyle. He probably got the cash from selling the stolen art. Your hunch was right. Yeah, it was. My hunch, my hunch. Boyle's my hunch was right after hunch. all. Come on, Jake. Sing with me. That's not going to happen. I will literally never. What you gonna do with all that hunch? All that hunch inside your brain? We are gonna solve, solve, solve this case. Solve this case right in your face. <laughs> I'm Donald Hoberman Sights. I wear glasses. Boyle should not be on this case. He's gonna like throw this guy through a fucking wall. I can see it coming. Whoa, hello. But serious question, if she farts in that thing, does it blow up like a balloon? You have to. <laughs> So anyway, I was wondering, how'd you get your own gallery? It must be really expensive. Art's yeah. thought about the money, man. Totally. It's yeah, more about the... Buying a fucking building is about money, bro. Or renting it or whatever. Well, April 16th was the day my ex, Genevieve, and I covered ourselves with paint and made love on that campus for 24 hours straight. You're going through the wall, man. Uh, you were robbing Genevieve's gallery. You framed her, and I should arrest Boyle. you right now! What are you, cops? What? No! We're artists. And as artists, we question everything, including certain people's whereabouts on particular dates. <laughs> hey, you dum-dums. Ice cream. Moose tracks ice cream. How do you know? <laughs> yep, it's definitely ice cream. Oh, no. damn. Now, thanks, forensics. Their body ain't right. Oh. I'm lactose intolerant. Me too. I'm super lactose intolerant. You're lying. <laughs> No, 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 it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Ooh, Hitchcock Scully, buy the woman a fucking replacement ice cream now and never fucking touch another one again. He would never set up Genevieve, he's still in love with her. 
He keeps boxes of her old stuff lying around. Ooh, can we look at snow and handle them? <laughs> Boy, oh! Please, take <sighs> They put a Hitler mustache on me. Yes, this is unfortunate. Damn. I'll just issue a statement saying vandals will be prosecuted. It's not just vandalism, sir. People have real complaints, too. End stop and frisk. Stop racial profiling. Unlawful arrest oh. is a crime. I see. Okay. I think Gina was right about the campaign, sir. Hmm. I'm well, surprised she hasn't marched in here to say, I told you so. She wouldn't do that. She's coming. You're right, Amy. For once in your life, you're 100% <laughs> right. I would never say that. <laughs> ah, God damn it, Gina. Fuck. Yeah, I should learn never to doubt Gina. Yes. She's like Peralta. They, they're they both right about everything. Socks and shoes. This is exactly the type of stuff I own. This is kismet. I don't know. What's this? Boyle. Questions. It's a bunch of stolen art. Oh, no. Boyle, your hunch. I'm resigned to my life of solitude. Just me and my five dogs. I bet she doesn't even sleep on the floor. I just adopted two online right now. Oh, this pit bull hates kids. That's fine. I'll never have any. Add to cart. No. Okay. <laughs> hey, Scully. Yeah. Who's the babe? Just booked her for elder abuse. Elder abuse? That's nice. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing this precinct. I really thought I was going to get Genevieve back. Some backlash to the poster campaign. Yes. I'm the Nostradamus of your shame. <laughs> This campaign was um, a mistake. You told me that, but I got defensive and didn't listen. Okay, Hal, look at you being all rational and fucking decent. I'm replacing these with these. My email address is at the bottom. And wow, I, I don't know if I'd put my email address at the bottom of it, but that's, a, that's cool, man. I love them. Although they're probably just going to get trolled anyway <laughs> we know that's what would happen can't prove you took my moose strike so i shouldn't have yelled at you i'm impressed it takes a big person to admit when they're being a total dumb dumb we want to make it up to you you got your pizza only one pizza for both of us these guys you're lying about being lactose intolerant no we weren't some things are just delicious enough to suffer the consequences i'm oh, diabetic but it. i still eat sugar out of the bag <laughs> We're eating your pizza. So who's the moron now? Oh man, Hitchcock. Ooh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love these guys. <laughs> guys, you know what? You've earned it. <laughs> 416. Exactly. She couldn't have rented it because she was busy. Getting busy. Ah, oh, good one. This is fantastic. I mean, I'm not happy that she was having sex with another man, but so she didn't do it. All right, that was a very fun episode. A lot of Hitchcock and Scully in that episode. That was nice to see. Man, I love it when they're just being assholes to somebody else in the office when they're stealing stuff. When they scammed um, everybody out of money by saying that it was Scully's birthday or Hitchcock's birthday. Man, I love those guys and. I think I want to see more Hitchcock and Scully versus Rosa and Terry. We'll get ourselves a tag team match player. Holla holla. That's a um, storyline rivalry that I would love to see happen a bit more on this show because that was a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, Santiago with her poster. Decent storyline. That was a little bit more serious towards the end. And I dig that kind of stuff. I like when Hulk gets to be, you know, rational and do these genuinely you know thoughtful things and you know i think that i'm not sure what year this came out but i'm sure it's that's always relevant anyway um good to see them have something along those lines in this uh in this show as well gina was funnier at the end of this episode but i don't know when she was like kind of against it i don't know some of the jokes that she said didn't really land with me and uh, no vulture in this one. No vulture at all. So interesting episode. I enjoyed it. Oh, of course, Boyle and um, the, the the slug. What's her name? The, the snail from uh, <laughs> Always Sunny in Philadelphia. 
<laughs> hey, Frank, I'm giving this guy a handy under the table. Are you jealous? She's mashing it. She does that. I hope we get more of her because she's hilarious and always sunny. I'm sure she'll be great in this as well. But her and Boyle having a uh, romantic relationship, both as weird as each other, that might have legs to be hilarious or it could just make me incredibly uncomfortable week after week. We'll have to wait and see how it goes. But let me know in the comments what you guys thought about this episode. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you're enjoying Brooklyn Week. And as always, everyone... Oh, actually, wait. Hang on for a little bit of... um. Young Chuck Norris, because this is a doozy. But I'll say the goodbye anyway. Be well, stay safe, look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace. Hey, let's turn back time to younger days. <laughs>